In 1914, World War I started, and that caused significant changes around the world. I'm going to be talking about how it changed Canada through a story of one soldier and an artifact. The soldier's story I will be telling is Lance Corporal William Elliott. The artifact I'm going to connect to William is a putty. A putty is a strip of wool fabric that was part of a soldier's uniform in World War I. William Elliott was a lumberman before his enlistment into the army. Like many other men who got enlisted, he was average. He didn't have any standout characteristics, but people like him are what made up most of World War I and helped change Canada to what it is today. William presented himself on August 23, 1915 for enlistment at the Church Lads Brigade Armory in St. John's, the capital city of the Dominion of Newfoundland. On August 26, he pledged his allegiance to the King George V. Private Elliot was designated to G Company. On November 10th, the G Company took a train to Scotland where it had been billeted in huts in a military camp at Gales. There were many companies with the Royal Newfoundland Regiments. The first company that went out was the A Company, also known as the First 500. Cool fact, the A Company were nicknamed the Blue Putties because they didn't have material to make the traditional khaki-colored putties, so they used blue fabric instead. On December 3, 1916, William had been promoted to Lance Corporal William Elliott. On February 18, 1917, William went with A Company to France. Unfortunately, William Elliott did not come home from that fight. March 3, 1917, Lance Corporal William Elliott died in battle during the fighting at Sely Selesel. As I mentioned before, William worked with a regiment named, nicknamed the Blue Putties. That was considered an honor in Newfoundland. Putties were used in most countries' military uniforms because they protect your legs from debris and water, and they also stabilize your legs to help with injuries, sort of like a modern-day tensor bandage. The putties are made from a thick wool fabric. Most putties were made with a beige color. You wrap the fabric from your ankle to the lower knee, mimicking the use and purpose of a tall leather boot. Lance Corporal William Elliott got to be a part of the famous Blue Putties, and he, like many others, fought and died in battles to protect our country. This resulted in Canada's signature on the peace treaty, and Canada was no longer viewed as a colony of Britain. It officially could achieve nation status, and it is still considered an independent nation today. So next time you are just thinking about how living in Canada is great, think about how it got to be what it is today.